take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. There are four basic types of fronts, and the weather associated with them varies. Cold front. A cold front is the leading edge of a colder air mass. Warm front. Warm fronts tend to move slower than cold fronts and are the leading edge of warm air moving northward. Stationary front. Occluded front. Take our lead. A front is a weather system that is the boundary separating two different types of air. Because air is lifted instead of being pressed down, the movement of a cold front through a warm front is usually called a low pressure system. Low pressure systems often cause severe rainfall or thunderstorms. Make your mark, take our lead. Warm fronts. Warm fronts move slower than cold air underscore, blank. A warm front will steadily rise, blank, underscore the cooler air and create gentle rain showers. An occluded front is formed when a, blank, underscore front catches and overtakes a warm front. Let's help you make your mark. A stationary front is represented by alternating blue and red lines with blue triangles pointing towards the warmer air and red semicircles pointing towards the colder air. A noticeable temperature change and or shift in wind direction is commonly observed when crossing from one side of a stationary front to the other. Let's help you make your mark. Symbolically, an occluded front is represented by a solid line with alternating triangles and circles pointing the direction the front is moving. On colored weather maps, an occluded front is drawn with a solid purple line. Let's help you make your mark. A stationary front is depicted by an alternating red and blue line with a triangle on the blue portion and half moon on the opposite side of the red portion of the line. A cold front, or warm front, that stops moving becomes a stationary front. Make your mark, take our lead. Occluded front. When a cold front overtakes a warm front. Dot. Occluded front when a cold front overtakes a warm front. A developing cyclone typically has a preceding warm front, the leading edge of a warm moist air mass, and a faster moving cold front, the leading edge of a colder drier air mass wrapping around the storm. Take our lead. Symbolically, a warm front is represented by a solid line with semicircles pointing towards the colder air and in the direction of movement. On colored weather maps, a warm front is drawn with a solid red line. There is typically a noticeable temperature change from one side of the warm front to the other. Let's help you make your mark. Fronts develop when two air masses with different temperatures and, in most cases, different moisture contents come into contact with each other. The result depends on the relative temperature and moisture content of the two air masses and the relative movement of the two masses. Take our lead. Cumulus clouds. Cold fronts occur when heavy cold air displaces lighter warm air, pushing it upward. Cumulus clouds are the most common cloud types that are produced by cold fronts. They often grow into cumulonimbus clouds, which produce thunderstorms.
Let's help you make your mark. Stationary fronts appear on weather maps as alternating red and blue lines, with blue triangles pointing towards the side of the front occupied by warmer air, and red semicircles pointing towards the cold air side. Take our lead. A cold front is where a cold air mass is pushing into a warmer air mass. Cold fronts can produce dramatic changes in the weather. Commonly, when the cold front is passing, winds become gusty. There is a sudden drop in temperature, and heavy rain, sometimes with hail, thunder, and lightning. Let's help you make your mark. Because a stationary front marks the boundary between two air masses, there are often differences in air temperature and wind on opposite sides of it. The weather is often cloudy along a stationary front, and rain or snow often falls, especially if the front is in an area of low atmospheric pressure. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.